Hola amigos and welcome back to Code Pipe. In today's video we will see how we can make a Chrome extension using vanilla JavaScript. So without any further delays, let's get into the video. First of all, I would like to show you an example of what our final product will look like. Let's go to Google Images. So I'll search for Google Images. Go to Images. And we can see we have various images from Google. Now what our extension will do is if we go to our extension, this is our custom build and if we click on this button, notice how every image on the web page is turned into an image of Shah Rukh Khan. This is a basic functionality that we are performing through our extension. So let's get into the code and see how we can do it. So I'm using VS code here. The setting part is already made in another video. Please have a look. I have opened a new folder with the name Chrome extension and I will make a new file here that will be manifest.json we are making this file because when we upload our chrome extension on google google will look for manifest file so that it can configure the chrome extension accordingly so first of all we will provide what is known as a manifest version and at latest it is now 3 you can check out the documentation for this also then we will also provide a name for this it should be name and we can name this demo extension after this we will provide a version and this is the version for our chrome extension you can say 1.0.0 as this is the newest version or the earliest version then we will provide content scripts we will talk about it in a second but let me define them first so it will take an array with object first one will be matches and I will say here all the URLs that are present it will be something like all underscore URLs then we will say JS will be inside an array which will be content.js and after content scripts we can say background although this is not very necessary unless we are doing something very particular we will also discuss about this in a second and according to the manifest version 3 we need to provide here service workers and here I'll say background.js and after background I'll say action action will take our object with default pop-up it will take pop-up.html basically any html file and then we will say default underscore title for this and here I'm saying SRK fan and after this finally we need to give permissions of what our extension can access so it will be permissions and it will take an array and i'll say tabs so this is how our manifest file will look like let me make a note here that this can be different from other tutorials available on the internet because this is based on the manifest version 3 which is latest release and somewhere you can see manifest version of 1 and 2 also so accordingly the things will be changing now let's understand what is written here first we have manifest version which is uh, coming from the google then we have name and version of our extension then we have content scripts background and action let's understand what these three things are coming back on the browser whatever we are looking on the screen including the images the h1 tags span tags everything comes under content which is visible to us so this is content and whenever we are clicking on our extension and we see a little pop-up here so this is uh, inside the action and we are calling it a pop-up or display for from extension and the third thing is background as the name suggests everything that is happening behind the scenes can be considered in background so these are three things that are connected to our chrome extension getting back to the code now in content scripts when we say matches it kind of says that we are making our extension to work with all the urls and js is basically what js file it needs to run then for background again we have what js file it needs to work so basically in chrome extension language it is known as service workers and for action part which is visible after we click the chrome extension whatever we see when we click on the extension that is popup.html file and we can provide a default title as SRK fan. and permissions at last is something we are asking these permissions from chrome so that we can access tabs and we can pass information to and from tabs after this let's make a content.js file 
and inside this what i will do is i will randomly select five or six shahrukh khan images from internet and make an array of it the array will look something like this so basically i have taken image addresses of six to seven images from internet once i have these images i'll go back to our chrome and once reload it so that we are getting the original page and i will inspect it and if i want to inspect a specific element i can say that this is coming under image tag now whenever we are running the content.js file as i said whatever we are looking on the screen comes under content so whenever we are making a content.js file we are directly communicating with whatever is visible on the screen so i will grab all the image tags on this page and i will put random shahrukh khan images on this and let's see how we are going to do that so here i will get all the image by using tag name and i will store them in a constant and after that i will make a simple for loop so that i can loop through all the tags of images that are available on the screen and i can choose a random image from the available shahrukh khan images so as of now theoretically what we are doing is we are getting all the images and we are changing those images with shahrukh khan images this is the very basic version of the chrome extension that i showed you but i wanted to show you because i wanted to let you understand how content.js is interacting with the web page now we have our basic setup ready what we will do is we will go to chrome we will go to the three dot menu we will go to more tools extensions and here i believe you will be having this developer mode off like this so now what we have to do is we will turn on the developer mode then we will say load unpacked we will go to the desktop where our folder is available i will select this and open this and here we can see we have our demo extension that we just initiated let's search for anything will smith and now you can see all the images are turning into shahrukh khan images without doing anything but why is this happening this immediate change of images is happening because in our content.js we are not looking for any condition we are directly getting all the image tags and we are converting them into shahrukh khan images to overcome this there are two ways we can do something in background.js which is running in the background and we can maybe set a timer or something and the second thing is let me pin it and if we see whenever i am clicking on it it does not have anything but it says your file couldn't be accessed this is coming because we have initiated popup.html but we never created the file so the next thing that i was speaking about was we can create a popup.html that will take up this place and we can have a click me button or some kind of button that can transfer information from this popup.html to content.js so first of all let's create our popup.html here i will create a new file which will be popup.html let me paste the html code here it will be a very basic file it will look something like this where inside the html body i am just providing a button with the id click button and the text as click me let's check it out on the browser on the browser if we click on the button here it says click me and notice that this extension is the original one which i showed at the start of video and this is the demo one which we are doing right now but sometimes if you are not able to see the pop up i will suggest to go to extensions and in our demo extension you can say reload and we can go to our page and check for the pop up just a side note here if we want to do something with this and want to inspect this so you will have to right click on this and inspect whatever you do on this pop up dot html it will not reflect on the content page or where we are inspecting like a normal screen it will not come up here we will need to go to this extension right click and inspect it will open up a different window with the html file that we have for pop up and it will have a different console and like normal html file we have this html file and to do something with it we need a js file for this so let us create a pop up dot js file in our html file i have already mentioned that we have a pop up dot js file so let's make it it will be pop up dot js and just to see if it is working i'll paste a simple console log here close our already running tab of the extension on the browser let's go to extensions reload and if i check the extension again and right click inspect in the console i will get testing 
and in the main console I will not get it so this is the difference between pop-up or action of the extension and the main content of the browser now we know how to interact with this popup.html using popup.js now the next thing we need to understand is how do we send information or how do we make a connection between this popup and this content so this can be done using messaging to have complete knowledge on how the connection is working and how chrome extensions are working there is a super blog from google with the name google chrome developers for us what we are trying to look is how to send messages from this pop-up to content so basically messaging between the pop-up and content and second thing is how to get the current tab to which we want to send the message to so there are two docs that we can refer first one is message passing that is again from chrome developers i will try to put the link in the description so what we are doing is we are passing a message from this pop-up to the content so for that we have a simple documentation for it we will directly say send message we will send an object as the message and in response we will get a function that is optional and the next thing is how do we get the active tab for that we will go to chrome.tabs and here we will see the documentation for our tabs how to use it what we can include in the manifest and everything if we scroll down we can say what methods do we have for our chrome.tabs and here we are looking for query so this is how you can get the query for tabs we will need to give a query info and a callback which is optional in our query info object we have different fields that we can define like active audible etc now let's put this together in our popup.js here i will remove this and first of all i'll get the button from our popup.html that will look something like this we are getting the button element by id we will add an event listener here on click it will get a function what this function will do is it will send a message to the current active tab the code to get the current active tab will look something like this first of all we will have query options where we will see if the tab is active and we have the current window then i will use this chrome.tabs.query that we just discussed i will pass the query options and the callback i am passing tabs to the callback because this query will give us a list of tabs and if we are passing these parameters then i believe we will be getting only one tab and we can use this to get the id now let's test it out on our browser we will go to extensions reload this and if we click on this we have already added the event listener so i will click here and inspect this in our console if i see we are getting the number 229 so each tab will have unique id which will be passed through the chrome so this is the id of our current tab now what we need to do is we need to send a message using this tab id for that we will go to vs code and inside this callback only i will use the send message from chrome which will look something like this chrome.tabs.send message inside this we need to pass three things first will be the tab id then we need to pass the message as an object and we will get the response from the request we are sending inside this response i will be sending back an object with the key state in our content.js there is a method which is on message which will be triggered whenever we are sending some messages from anywhere like background.js or popup.js to our content.js and that will look something like this which will be chrome.runtime.on message and we will add a listener to this which will take request which is basically the message object that we are sending then it will see who is the sender it will also have a function that will send response so basically what we are doing is whatever we are getting in this response.status this send response function will send that response back to popup.js first of all let's log our request and sender so let's see how this will look like again i will reload this we will go to a tab we will refresh it we will go to our extension click on click me and we can see here this is the object that we are sending as request and this is the id or the sender now what we are going to do is i will check if this request dot message is equal to something or we can have different checks if we want and accordingly i will run this for loop so cut this and i will say 
if request dot task is equal to I am SRK in our popup dot js the object we are sending has a key of task and value of I am SRK so in our content if we are checking task is equal to I am SRK this should run now let's delete this also while we are at it I will also use this send response to send a response back to our popup dot js that will look something like this I am creating a object with a key status remember in our popup.js we are checking for response.status so we need to provide the same key and I will call this function let's save all of this go to our extensions reload this it says we have some error ok let's try to clear all and reload this again there are no errors let's go to the tab refresh and notice now no images are changed because we are adding an event listener and if that is success we are changing the images so i will go to the extension say click me and now the images are changing and if we inspect on our extension in our console we will see the id and we have response.status so we are sending status as done from our send response and in our popup.js we are receiving this as status so it says done so summarizing everything we have seen this page in front of us is the content whatever we are looking after clicking on this will be the action or the popup.html and we can attach one popup.js file to help us and whatever is running behind the scenes is background.js and the communication between all of these three things can be done using messaging and there are other helper functions like getting the active tab opening the url in a new window or a new tab etc please have a look on the documentation to get complete details about chrome extensions with this i conclude the video here as we have developed a decent enough chrome extension for our chrome browser we will be making more javascript tutorial videos so if you are coming here for the first time do not forget to hit the subscribe button and push the notification bell to not miss out any videos from us we will see you in the next video until then this is somewhere taking your leave adios